let us say some person called harry went for a heartbeat checkup so they applied some electrodes to his body and now his heartbeat is getting recorded his heartbeat gets recorded every hour and they have some observations on his heartbeat and the observations are as follows so the heartbeat is actually measured as beats per minute so for different hours his heartbeat measured was as follows 60 78 59 72 73 68 75 and now doctor comes for his round and then asks the nurse few questions the doctor doesn't really have time to ask all the observations that the nurse took for the heartbeat but then doctor asks what is the range of the data that you have collected now as a nurse how would you answer this question to answer this question you will have to look at the given data and spot two data points one of them being the smallest which in this case is 59 and the other one that you need to spot is the largest in the data group which is this 78 now to find the range what you do is that you subtract the smallest from the largest and so the range of the data in this case is 78 minus 59 and that gives us 19 but how is this information useful to the doctor this information is useful to the doctor in order to know whether harry's heart condition is stable or unstable see these are heartbeats we don't want our heartbeats to change a lot and if the range is more that means the difference between the largest and the smallest data set is more we can conclude that there is a lot of variation in the data set and here in this context because we are recording the heartbeat doctor might think that harry might need some more observation since his heartbeat have a larger range of 19 but what if the heartbeat data was as follows 70 72 73 69 71 70 and 72 now in this case the smallest data point that you can find here is 69 so this is the smallest and the largest is 73 and so the range in this case is 73 minus 69 which is 4 and looking at this range doctor would conclude that harry has a stable heartbeat and this is how calculating range from the given ungrouped data is useful to conclude whether data has larger variation or less variation now it might change according to the context whether large variation in data is necessary or small variation in the data is necessary to conclude range can be calculated by subtracting the smallest data point from the given ungrouped data from the largest data point present in the given ungrouped data